Hey guys, I'm Kay and you have arrived at my weird little corner of the internet. Welcome. If you are new here, I am a part-time reseller on both Poshmark and eBay and today I have a Sabres haul for you. So if you have a Sabres or Value Village near you and you're a reseller, you probably know that they had the um, July 4th pre-sale for the club members yesterday on Sunday. Uh, obviously I'm filming this Monday so of course I had to partake even though I have a huge death pile I can't resist a good sale and what I've been doing lately is getting up a little bit early before work um, I start work at 9 and photographing a bunch of stuff at once just in square mode on my iPhone and then while I'm on break at work I've been listing stuff so it's really helped me get this pile down to a manageable amount and I'm hoping that I can continue that going forward but again, I couldn't resist a good sale. So I spent $90.70. I don't know if this will focus on the print on this receipt, but um, that's the total. And I got 29 items all together. I did the math before and I believe it was $3.10 per item. Don't quote me on that. I'm terrible at math, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was. And I'm super happy about that. So let's not waste any more time and dive right into this haul. I haven't detagged anything. So if you see the price on that item, just know that it's 50% off of that price. I didn't get anything that wasn't clothing or shoes. Um, or accessories so everything that I purchased was half off. So if you saw the cover photo for this video which if you're here then obviously you did you know that I at least got one pair of boots so these are Merrill boots and they have the Vibram soles which are a huge selling point. Uh, if you sell on eBay I would definitely include that in your title. The style name on these is the Pulse 2. Um, they are waterproof and they're a US size 6.5 in women's. They're in excellent shape. They don't even look worn other than there's a, a couple tiny little rocks stuck in the treads but happy to pick these up. Merrill does super well for me and I'm hoping to get around $50 for these. Those were also the most expensive item in this haul. I paid, let's see, $13. So what is that, $6.50? Next up we have an Adidas top. And I believe this is the Adidas Originals tag. Please feel free to correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, but it's the blue tag. This is a size US medium, and it's a crop top with the big giant uh, treat foil logo, as well as their three stripes. So I thought this was really cool. I would probably wear this, but I'm not comfortable enough to be in a crop top at this point in time. So I'm gonna probably list this in my posh closet for maybe 18 to 20 dollars and see if I get any interest. Well, I heard through the grapevine that band tank tops are doing much better right now than band tees and you know I love a good graphic tee and a band tee uh, but there are a couple band tank tops in this haul and this is the first one. I've never heard of this brand before. It's called Universal Language. Let's see if I can get the tag for you. Here is the tag. And if you notice, it's super long. This is a size medium, but I'll show you why the tag is so long in a minute. So this is like a virgin. It's a crop top and the back is lace. It's kind of hard to see that because it's black, but the whole back is lace. And the lyrics for the song, you know, the Madonna song, is on the tag, so that's why it's incredibly long. And it's a size medium if I didn't already say that. I'm not sure what I'll list tanks for. I usually list the band tees uh, for 25 in my closet, so maybe I'll do $20 on the tank top. This next one was a cool find. I love junk food brand. They make a, a lot of cool graphic tees. This one is a sleeveless top. And it says be happy with a rainbow and the be happy is embroidered but the rainbow is just screen printed and if you notice the tag it has a little Mickey um, I did do some research and this is a Disney and junk food collab so again not sure what I'll list this for maybe around 20 to 25 dollars and it's a size small also, I apologize that the lighting is making me look super red right now, but it's like 6.30, almost 7 o'clock here, and the lighting is not that great aside from my um, lighting kit, so there's that. Next is a new-to-me brand. I'm not sure if this is Anthro or Urban Outfitters, 
but it's one of the two. It has the 66170 RN number and it's out from under. This is a size medium and it's basically a bralette top. I wouldn't exactly call this a crop top because there's nothing else to it. It does have a side zipper and this would be cute for festival season which I know isn't right now. It's usually earlier in the year but I'm hoping someone will like this. I promise I do have some color items in this but this is um, another black piece. So this is Eileen Fisher. I'm sure most of you know about Eileen Fisher. It's hit or miss for me. I do still have a couple pieces that have been sitting for a while, but I also sold a silk open front cardigan on eBay last week, I believe. Um, but this is 100% silk. It's a size medium and it's just a basic black tee. Super cute. Silk material usually does well, so I'll probably price that at around $40. If you're not new here, you probably know that I love activewear. This is Prana, but funnily enough, this is not really what I would consider an activewear top. And it's got this pretty embroidery at the collar and it's also on the back. This is a size medium and here is the full length. It does have a rounded hem at the bottom and let's see the material. No. Nope. I can't tell you what the material is because someone cut that out, but it feels similar to a linen, so it's probably a linen blend, aka perfect for summer, and I'll probably price that around $30 and see if I get any interest. Okay, this one is BB Dakota. I have seen it before, but never picked it up, so I'm not sure of the comps on this, but I figured at this price point I would try it out. This is a size medium, and it has an interesting ruffle on it. It's just gray, but the ruffles are also the sleeves and they also continue to the bottom of the shirt. So it's kind of like a cap sleeve. Um, not sure, again, not sure what the prices are. So maybe around $20. This is another brand I haven't found and it's Altered State. Um, so again, at this price point, I figured I would try it out since I've never sold it before, but it's just a spaghetti strap tank and it has this lace layer at the bottom. Really pretty, really cute, perfect for this season. Here's another graphic band tank top and this one is a little bit different. It's wood stock. Let's see if I can get you a close up of the graphic. Um, the brand is, let's see, the brand is Woodstock as well. This is a size medium. Some of the tag has been rubbed off. It's just screen printed on there, um, but it says three days of peace and music. I thought this was kind of cool. Obviously, it's not vintage. It's a very modern style tank top, but um, I'm hoping this will do well, and I'll probably price it around $20. This next one is a brand that doesn't do the greatest for me and I do still have a few pieces from them but it was priced at $1.99 so for a dollar I really couldn't just leave it there. This is Splendid and it's a size small. It's just this polka dot tank top. Splendid tags usually do have the style number listed and this one does. It's right above the size on the care tag. Let's see if I can get you to see this. So what I typically do is I'll type Splendid into the Google machine and add that style number to the end and see if I can come up with anything. I know stock photos are somewhat controversial in this um, arena, but I do like to use them if only because I don't have a mannequin. So sometimes it's hard to see the silhouette on a person um, and I'm not going to model everything because that would just take me too much time to figure out how to do and do it well. Um, but I only have a hanger that's stuck on like one of those 3M hooks on my wall and that's how I photograph my items unless it's shoes or jeans which I do flat lace for. So it's really helpful. Also it'll give me the style name hopefully and I like to put that in my listing title as well. Two more band tank tops and they're going to be right next to each other. So the first one is this Ramones tank. I like the graphic on this one. It is the brand Ramones 1234. Never found it before. I know some people do like the Ramones. This is hard to see. It's going to be blurry. This is a size extra small. 
but I thought this was kind of cool. This one's probably my favorite of the band tanks that I found on this trip. So this one is Lionel Richie. It says Lionel Richie all the hits all night long. If you know Lionel Richie or understand. Um, not sure who this brand is. It just looks like a generic brand label tag. Come on. Anyways, it's a size small. This next one is another hit or miss brand for me. This is Topshop. Most people know this brand. It's a size four and it's just a black v-neck tank top. It does have lining um, towards the cleavage area. So you could probably get away with wearing like a bralette or no bra if you were so inclined. I know a lot of people like this brand. I have sold one piece. I do still have another piece in my closet. I think this is a newer tag, but this is Lulu's. Um, coveted, curated, collected, and this is an extra small. It has this pretty embroidery on the back of the neck. Um, and it's just like a halter sort of style tank top. Here's the neckline, long. And here's what it looks like on the back. I did find quite a bit from this brand at Savers that day. This is Vince, which doesn't do as well as it used to. This is a size medium. I think this is the only piece I picked up. The other ones, I believe, were damaged, but um, we'll find out if I'm wrong or not. But this is a black short sleeve shirt. Um, it's sheer at the top. I don't know if you can see that. Um, in the back as well and then it's like a satin feel material this is gonna need to be steamed which I don't have a steamer yet so I guess this is all the more reason to buy one because this is gonna look hideous if I try and hang it and it's wrinkled as shit this is Target brand and I know most people don't pick up Target to resell but this is a new day and it's a size medium but I love animal print and this is a sheer animal print top. It's got slightly longer than short sleeves, but not three quarter length sleeves. But I thought this would be cute with maybe like a black cami underneath. And if no one buys it, I'll just keep it for myself. This brand I've only found once before and it did sell for a decent amount. I want to say like $35. This is mod cloth size small. And again, it's black and it has this pretty detail at the neckline with the buttons, short sleeve, just basic. The last one I sold from Mod Cloth was a floral pattern, so that was a little bit more fun. So maybe this one won't fetch as much, but I'm happy to pick that up anyways. Next one is for me and there's no brand, someone cut it out. So I couldn't tell you who this is, but it's super soft and it's just a star print scoop neck tank top the trim is red so you have the red white and blue and if you don't know my birthday is the 4th of July um, and Livy and I are going to run a 5k race the day before and I think I'm just gonna wear this with some leggings and obviously my running shoes to run the race because I thought it'd be fun and festive so the next two items are for Livy. She did make her own purchases as well with her very own money and her very own debit card. But those were, I think, a couple books and a giraffe that was made out of marble or something like that, which she paid $8 for. And I don't understand why she would do that, but it's her money. She could spend it how she wants. I did give her a $2 off coupon, so I gave her a little bit of a discount. Um, but I'm her mom, so I have to buy her clothes. This is... Hollister, which is not a kid's brand, but like a junior's brand, but she liked it. It's kind of oversized on her, which is the style, but it has these tiger faces and rows. And she likes it. It looks cute on her. She also wanted these pants. I have no idea who makes them. Oh, wait. Hold on. Target. It's a teeny tiny little tag and it says Target on it. You probably won't be able to read that. It does also have someone's initials and it's got some marks here, but they're these very soft like palazzo pants. 
and they were too adorable on her I couldn't say no also they were $2.50 so $1.25 with a discount how could you say no to cute pants for $1.25 this is the one purse that I bought and I had never heard of it before it's called Baba Zuzu if you've seen this brand before or sold it please let me know in the comments below it's entirely made of wool uh, I thought it was cool just because it was made out of wool so I decided to do a look up for comps on eBay figuring that was the place that I was going to be able to sell it. Here's the inside tag. Um, and they range from $20 to $25 on eBay. I paid 3 bucks, so I figured why not I'll try it. It does have like a nylon thick strap. Looks exactly like a seatbelt strap pretty much. You won't be able to see the detail there, but it's adjustable. Hopefully that'll do really well. I know wool is not really in style and in season right now because it's summer, but it's just a bag, so maybe someone will pick it up soon. This next brand I've seen but never picked up before, it's Odile or Odile. I'm not exactly sure of how it's supposed to be pronounced, but it's an anthropology brand. And again, for this price point, I'll pick it up and try it because it's something new. So this is just like a cap sleeve it's very light material and it buttons all the way down the buttons are just plain black but they do have the little loops for them and i thought it was cute so hopefully that one will go quick even though most of my anthro has been sitting and collecting dust because it's just oversaturated in the markets right now but i did sell an anthro piece today on ebay i got an offer for a whopping 15 dollars, but i just jumped on it because i paid 3.99 for the item and the buyer was going to pay shipping so maybe that's a sign that i will be selling some more anthropology soon okay two more clothing items and they're the best ones in this haul and then we'll jump into the shoes I have seen this brand once before but it was hella damaged so I didn't want to risk picking it up and then afterwards I spoke to some people and they said that they sold damaged helmet lang I'm looking at you Jenemy and for like $50 so I kind of kicked myself a little bit but here we go this one's not damaged and I did pick it up obviously it's helmet lang it's a size small it does have a zippered back I'm not sure of the material. I haven't looked at it. I just saw Helmet Lang and looked for flaws and then picked it up. But it's just this sleeveless top. Okay, so this last clothing piece, Livy said was hideous and she would never wear it. But I had to pick it up anyway because it's Kate Spade. And who doesn't love half off Kate Spade? Here's the label. It's a size medium. And it's animal print which I like and it's again a sleeveless top I spent a lot of time in the tank top area if you couldn't tell and it has a tie neck here are the ties I'm not going to tie it for you because it won't be good right now but it's cute I think it's cute it's sparkly and textured it's scratchy on the outside but the inside is nice because it's fully lined and see the material the shell is 81% silk and 19% metallic. The lining is just polyester. But not sure what I'll price this at. I did recently sell a Kate Spade top from one of my recent hauls for I think $45. And that one went pretty quick. And I'm hoping this one will too because I like to have the money in my bank account. First up is Dansko and I know these have gone down a little bit in the market they don't sell for as much as they used to I have gotten $60 for a pair of used Danskos before um, but these have a rubber cap toe which I thought was a little different obviously just black and here is the tag on the back it's a little bit damaged and coming off but that won't matter always make sure you do the twist test with Danskos because they do have a tendency to separate from the sole and these are a size 39 i'll probably price them at about 35 dollars next i have a brand that i have sold a few times before and 
in kid sizes, which this is. These are Keen sandals and these are camo and they're so adorable. I wish I had a little, little nugget again, almost, just so they could wear these. Um, they don't have Vibram soles, which I haven't seen many of the kids ones have Vibram soles, but the adult ones typically do have the Vibram soles. And that's a big selling point. As I mentioned with the Merrells, people want to know that they're Vibram sold. So they have just the elastic for easy on and off and tightening. They are size, let me see, size nine in toddler, I would assume, because these are small. Um, but usually I get like 25 bucks for these. Okay, these are another pair of kid sandals. And these are for Livy though. They are the Teva sandals. And they are just brown. They were in the little boy section. But actually, we've been looking for a pair of hiking type sandals for her because we're going to Arizona next month because now it's July, so I could say next month. But we're going to be doing a lot of hiking and I didn't think she'd want to be wearing giant chunky hiking boots, which she does have a pair of keen hiking boots um, because it's going to be so insanely hot that we're basically going to be melting. But um, I thought that would be more comfortable for her. So I've been on the lookout because I don't want to spend a lot of money. She grows out of stuff so quickly. If you have kids, you understand that. But she liked these. They're comfortable. They're easy to adjust because they're just Velcro. Um, they look pretty much brand new. They still have the tag from Nordstrom Rack in there. So Whoever bought them paid $16.97. The retail value is $55. They're a size four, I believe, but Tevas typically run big in my experience. And if she outgrows them, I'll just try and find her another pair before we go. Okay, next are some Toms. And I have sold a few pairs of Toms in my one year of reselling. But these are a different style of Toms than I've seen before. And they are a pointed toe flat, but they're fully embroidered. They kind of look like a saludo to me. Um, obviously not with the espadrille type bottom, but these are actual wood bottoms. And they are a size eight in women's. I thought they were cute. I paid $4. I'm not sure what these will go for since I, I've never sold this style before, but um, I'm interested to see if they go for any different than the normal Tom's like slip on, which is, what I've sold before. Um, I've also sold like their wedge booties before and those did really well. I think I got like 35 to $40 for those, but again, I'm not sure what these will do, but maybe 20 to 25, which is typically what I sell most items for. If you've watched any of my what sold hauls, which I haven't done one of those in a while, so I'm sorry, but one's coming. I promise I'm gonna try to get better at doing those. I think what I'm gonna do though is separate Posh from eBay. Um, because most people who come here look for posh stuff and they don't really care about eBay, but there might be people who care about eBay and not posh. So it, I think it'll be better for everyone if I separate them and plus the videos won't be super long. And last but not least is a pair of booties and I know it's not fall, but people buy stuff year round and I'll just list whatever I have. And these are from Torrid. They are a size eight. W, so eight wide, I believe. Here is the inside tag, if you can see that. Uh, there is a sticker from Torrid on the bottom that says $54.98. Can you see that? I don't know. Now you can. Um, but the original retail price was $64.90. It's on the bottom of this shoe. And it says brown cut side is <laughs> super helpful there is a small chunk taken out of this heel so this is the right boot there it is but otherwise they're in really good shape um suede outer and obviously they have the cut sides so they're easy to slip on and off um probably list them at thirty dollars and go from there i like to list a little bit higher typically i'll price everything at least on Poshmark, because on eBay I do 99 cents on everything, but on Posh, I typically do five or on the tens. So for example, I'll list those at $30, $30, and if someone likes them, I will send an offer of the 25 plus the $5 shipping to make it the even $30. That's just what works for me, and I seem to have a lot of success for that, especially as a part-time seller. Um, I do pretty well. 
uh, I would like to do better because obviously better means more money for me and more stuff going out every week every month and that makes me happy eventually I would like to be able to support myself with just reselling but for right now I have to just supplement my income so if you're new here you probably aren't aware that I am trying to pay off my debt so I can be debt free um, I do plan to buy a house next year hopefully that works out but I won't consider that true debt because it's an asset um, but I do have student loans and a car loan that I'm still trying to pay off so the total between those is around $48,000 um, and I use my reselling money I save that into a separate account and uh, at the end of the year I typically make a large lump sum payment so last year I saved up quite a bit of money and I was able to make a $16,000 payment towards all of my credit card debt and completely cleared that out and I am trying to do a similar thing this year but with my student loans because I want to get those out from over my head and I don't have to worry about it anymore that way when I get a house hopefully cross my fingers um, I'll be able to have a lot less bills that are going out every month and if you decide to follow me I appreciate the support so please like this video if you enjoyed the content and subscribe to see more like it in the future I do have a couple videos I'll be filming this week one will be my quarterly goals update so if you haven't seen the last one I'll link it in the cards and I also have a what sold video like I promised you is coming and I do have a third video that is coming and that is how to get started selling on Poshmark so Again, if you enjoyed, please like, and if you super enjoyed, please subscribe. I would love to have you here, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!